Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle book review of Black Widow Strikes Omnibus Edition. Now, maybe it should have been called a Black Widow Omnibus Edition. You can see there, Black Widow Strikes. What does it cover? Well, it covers a variety of different stories. You can see there, Black Widow Strikes Omnibus Edition, collecting solo adventures from 1964 all the way through to 1998. So you get a variety of different styles and you definitely do throughout this book. You've got the early, obviously, Silver Age, all the way through to some very, actually quite decent stories later on as well. I have to say some of them are quite surprising. I mean, I'm more familiar with the sort of 70s stories and the 60s, but some of the later ones are pretty good as well, quite enjoyable. So let's just go through the book. Now it's got 872 pages, and the book came out in 2020, should still be readily available. Now I was, when I came to thinking about buying this, there were two volumes of the Epic Collection. They came about the same sort of time as well, which sort of threw, so I thinking, should I buy the Epic Collections or should I buy, obviously the this omnibus, you've got slightly bigger size, which just really, and I think a nicer quality about it. But it's, it is one of those things that when they release something like that, you think, oh, should I get that one or should, especially when the later stories, I wasn't so certain whether I was gonna like them or not. But just reading through them recently, I've been thinking, you know what, they weren't bad. Some, some not, but the art styles definitely vary. Def definitely vary. And there's also some quirks about this. And I'll just got to show you there. You can see the, it looks a real nice solid quality book. And let's just go through, see here, we've got all the vast numbers of people. Obviously you can see worked on the title over the years, because she's been all over the place. You've got the content, so you can see that. Now the selection is slightly odd, I have to say, and, and I'm not gonna go through all the list. You can see that there, there's the list, there's a lot. You'd just be able to make that out, hopefully. But still, you can see it's got lots of like, Tales of Suspense, Avengers, Amazing Adventures, Daredevil, Black Widow, and so on and so on. Lots of stuff. And you can see that from the list there. However, there's obviously a nice uh, introduction as well. I always like a good old introduction there. And you've got the first story. You've got the... It's slightly odd those stories, of course, so the communist stories about 1964 period and how she turns up. I mean, the fact that she causes immense problems for Tony Stark and he's still sort of like, oh, Natasha's coming around kind of thing. However, the stories did change after that. But you, you got obviously introduction there. You see the original sort of Black Widow there in the initial form. Obviously, there's not the standard Black well, I suppose she's varied it as well. She has so many different costumes over the years. But you got her there. And another story. I'm quite disappointed, actually. That, the first story was quite a sad one because it's got the Crimson Dynamo. And I liked the Crimson Dynamo. I thought they could have used that character a lot more. I'm not spoiling anything, but that is obviously a big spoiler since that was it. But I love that bit where he's going, fool, etc. We're obviously using the device. Probably not a good idea. Let's just test it out, make certain that we can see a floating car. No one will notice that floating through the uh, thing. I think that's a big clue. But still, of course, you've got the first appearance of Hawkeye. And they've recently have just brought out an epic collection of, of Hawkeye as well. I'm surprised they haven't brought out an omnibus edition, a massive omnibus edition. Maybe they will. Who knows? I suppose if that's popular. However, you've got this one, absolutely, again, lots of the tales of suspense. At least they're the full stories. So you've got the full stories here, again, you've got, again, still isn't uh, in the way that we usually expect Black Widow, but these are the early ones. And Hawkeye, of course, is at this point the villain until he, well, however, let's just go through to the, now we get into the Avengers. And this is a weird bit, actually, because they don't include everything. This is slightly confusing. We've got here Avengers number 16, one of my favourite comics. I love that one. You've got obviously the uh, there with Hawkeye and Black Widow. Of course, Hawkeye joins the Avengers, but, but the stories end up really then fragmented. So you get like three or four pages, sometimes maybe a bit more, sometimes a bit less. But it sort of jumps. You get the covers as well, obviously, because of course Black Widow is on the cover. So I guess they decided to include them. And there she is there. But it does make it very for hard reading because, of course, the story suddenly stops when they suddenly think, you know what, the story hasn't got any more Black Widow. It moves on and you get the next issue. However, I don't know if that's complete because I'm certain there must have been more. Black Widow seemed to, when I remember the Avengers, I loved the Don Heck pit. And that's, there was a lot of stories with Black Widow and I thought there was a lot more than this, but still, 
they have some more of some than others. And not always, of course, having Black Widow. They didn't go for, they could have gone for like every panel that's got Black Widow in and then just got rid of the rest. That would have been a weird way of doing it and just sort of have some text or something and just gone for full on just Black Widow. That one's a classic one. The Red Guardian, of course, the, in the film. I loved the film. Actually, the film was very good. I enjoyed it anyway. I don't know how the people maybe disliked it, but it was certainly, it uh, was good. Very enjoyable. So it got Avengers. I love that cover. That's just what a packed cover. We sort of, they did quite a few of these sort of mad sort of covers like that. With the... Then you got the story. The artwork really changed. But obviously, that was just brilliant. But now again, it sort of just cuts off at times. You've got and at the top, it would say like here. You can see again Avengers 57. And then about two pages later, and you, you have to really look for it because it's very faint. And then or one page, actually, or two pages, I should say. You've got Avengers there, 63. So you can see the style just jumps and change. And it doesn't include like the artist details or anything. So you have to think, oh, I know that artist or whatever. And then, and then it jumps again to 76. There was definitely some stories I'm certain they could have included, but didn't. Likewise, they do the same with, I think, yeah, this one. The Black Widow, you get the whole full of the Black Widow one, the Spider-Man one. Think the whole story is in. Beware the black. That would be weird if they chopped that. I can't tell to be honest. I didn't. However, the weird thing is, I, I loved at the bottom. It says here, the new monthly, her own monthly strip, her own monthly strip, big clue, own monthly strip. Amazing tales. Was it the fact that at that point they were thinking that Black Widow was going to have like the full strip? Because it sort of suggests that with the own. And also, it was called Amazing Tales. Of course, it eventually became Amazing Adventures. And then you got, of course, Amazing Adventures. Inhumans and Black Widow. They keep they were always trying to push the Inhumans. And I would love to have seen the sort of Amazing Adventures omnibus collection as well. Stories, of course, you've got the Beast stories, etc. Though they're tucked away, of course, in the X-Men epics. As well as, of course, the X-Men omnibus, I guess. I haven't got that. So um, this one, Marvel, then came the Black Widow. And these were quite enjoyable ventures. They were very short, but really... Very nicely drawn, of course, brilliant artwork by Basima. Just absolutely cracking stories. However, she was battling quite often very, not particularly the world's greatest of villains. It was sort of very much uh, stories that were, and with these rings, I did kill, of course. It wasn't, she wasn't facing the Mandarin or anything. She was facing Deadlock and the name, you know, they were very basic stories. But still quite good. And the one that was great, a classic one, that I always, always loved, and this one is the Christmas one. The Black Widow one. I always associate with Christmas. To all, yeah, a good night. Just a beautiful little story, that one. Quite a sad one, of course, but still an amazing males at the back. And this is the thing that I always loved about the Omnibus editions. They included, and also got the adverts as well, King Carl, good old King Carl. Then you got some another story, of course, with the Avengers turning up there and humans, Black Widow. The artwork changed really odd. And this one again, Don Heck and Bill Everett. Quite odd looking artwork, actually. It somehow didn't, and it did get quite weird. And there's Don Heck's. I mean, I love Don, Don Heck's work, but some of it was not the best. And I don't really think that this really, did. again, a pretty rubbishy villain again. I mean, this sort of non go. But what they didn't include, that I think they should have included a little bit more, would have been all the sections for Black Widow with uh, Daredevil. Because then you had like issue 81, and that was a great issue. But they had one issue. That was it for Daredevil. And Daredevil, uh, Black Widow, there were lots of stories. They could have included those as well, and that would have been brilliant. Now, the artwork just goes really... I mean, Galushi, that's some superb as well. I love Galushi's work. You've got some lovely black and white. So you've got a real mix. It's not all colour all the way through. And it does, after this point, this is at page 422. Now, of course, a lot of the earlier stuff that I've just been going through, a lot of, other than the Amazing Ventures, has been reprinted in other omnibuses. And I never felt that the Amazing Ventures had been ever reprinted very well. Because before, there was I got a collection that the artwork looked really odd. I don't know what was wrong with it, but somehow I got the art. It just looked terrible. The reproduction, I was not happy with it. So I was really pleased when I got to get this volume that actually looks pretty good. Love the uh, pin-up as well. Always can't beat a good old print. That must have been one of the last pin-ups. It doesn't, unfortunately, date it. 408 on the page. Bill Everett, 
And uh, most odd that they included it, but uh, still, I mean, glad they did. But it wasn't included in the Marvel Masterworks pin-up book, which is, I don't think, I can't remember it, seeing that. It's just odd that that was excluded. But you got Black Widow and Daredevil, brief sort of rundown. And of course, Champions, which they didn't include anything of either. It was thought they would have included the first issue of the Champions, at least include one issue, especially when they included a lot of material from the Avengers, which actually made very little sense because it was sort of like all over the place. But just superb artwork from Galicia. I mean, I love that one. Absolutely. I, black and white, I love them. But obviously, uh, a certain character, Michael Caine, uh, looking like character. I'm certain, of course, it's not Michael Caine. But it, and then you got Perez. Again, I love these Marvel fanfare ones. They were great, great issues there. So you've got that story. Just really stunning artwork. And then that went, that continued for quite a while. Actually, to be honest, I don't think I actually bought all those issues. I'm quite certain because looking through some of these, I'm thinking I don't remember actually in the end seeing all the story all the way through. They were quite expensive, Marvel fanfare, because it was done on glossy paper. And I remember at the time, it wasn't one that I would think, oh, I must buy every issue. That's probably my reasoning. Of course, you changed again there. You've got Black Widow in the grey. Obviously, this, I don't think it actually gives the dates. Obviously, you can look at the front to see the dates. But the artwork does go all over the place. It really does sort of vary. So some really, really, really good. Just, uh, of course, that's excellent. Let's, let's go this one, this first one there, as always, the page number. That's game, very odd. Yeah. Some more examples there. But it does vary. But the story is actually quite good. Reading through them, I, I was quite impressed by some of the stories. Very Dark and dramatic, of course, as well. But, I mean, some of the artwork is superb as well. Let's just go. And this one, Daredevil. I mean, that's a really gruesome. There in the snow. Some of you don't normally see Daredevil in the snow like that. Maybe you do. I don't know. I'm not... I haven't followed all the Daredevil recently, so maybe he's, there's lots of s snow stories. Uh, some are, like I say, rough. Very look rough looking. There's a, this one. There you obviously got... There, quite the artwork looks quite rough. It's not particularly, uh, however, and you've got more sort of, I quite like this. It's quite, that was a good story. Actually, that was a very good story. I enjoyed that one. That's the last of the stories in this book. However, let's just go on to, now I don't know when this was done. This, I must admit, I have to say this uh, storyline. We've got here, Journey into Mystery. How unusual, Journey into Mystery. And what issue was that? 519 of Journey into Mystery. I didn't buy many of the Journey into Mysteries, clearly. They obviously passed me by completely. Then on to the bonus trill. There's a fair amount of bonus trill. There's not awful bonus trill. In fact, you've got some good old bits from the, there. You can see the Marvel Universe ones. You've also got some original inked pages as well, which is always good. Some great good old pages there. And... A little bit more, but it's not a huge amount, but still pretty good. I love this collection. It is, as I said, one that I've, when I first thought about buying, I was thinking, should I buy the Epics? I'm really glad I got this one, the Omnibus Edition, because it is a nice quality book. And the latest stories, which I must admit, not so familiar with, but actually genuinely are still quite good. Even if the artwork sometimes isn't really the style that I like. I'm not really, I have to say some of the, uh, style is not my sort of thing, but still good stories all the same. And of course, anything with a lovely bit of black and white. Now, well, I wish they're so, I would I would love them to do more black and white because I think this black and white is just so brilliant. But not everyone likes black and white, I know. But uh, it's uh, still for me, I think the Galusi art there is just absolutely great. So dramatic. So, Black Widow Omnibus, oh sorry, Strikes Omnibus. Why did they call it that? Why not just call it the Black Widow Omnibus? But still, I don't know if it's supposed to be a one there. Maybe, they're, maybe they'll bring out a, a volume two at some point. I have no idea. Doesn't say volume two or anything there. So maybe there is, maybe there will be. I don't know. But I enjoyed it. So let's just bring, there's the cover of that. And again, it's got all the various comics on the back. You can see the Avengers. Quite a... Sometimes I think they shouldn't have included those either. Um, even though I enjoyed the Avengers stories, 
I think they I found them quite a bit messy to follow through the strands of the storyline with them all sort of just bits and fragments. Maybe they could have put a bit of text in between just to give us sort of like, you know, this is what's happening. And then here's the pictures with Black Widow and then go on to the next one. And then they could have put more Daredevil because they should have put some Daredevil ones. There were some great Daredevil uh, Black Widow ones. I love those ones. And Champions as well. It's like odd exclusion. And the Solo Avenger, that's good. Love the Hawkeye Solo Avenger one. So, excellent. And there is Black Widow Strikes. Totally recommended.